Hi, this is Bob Hilke with TopWaterIonizer.com and VeryHealthyWater.com. And today we're going to show you how to install a Levelock K8 or Kangen 8 Enagic Water Ionizer. It's called a K8 because it has eight electrolysis plates, whereas the SD501 has seven. So, first thing is, we'll just open up the box. And here we have an instruction manual. Um, this is an installation guide, and it's one page. If you follow the steps on this one page, it should pretty much be what you need to get it hooked up and running. Uh, here's a DVD with an owner's manual. And then we have uh, different size adapters, so that it should work on just about any sink faucet that you could have in your home. So we'll be using uh, one or more of those. This is the diverter, and uh, we'll show how to install that in a few minutes. Power cord. In this little white box, there's a stainless steel diverter, so you actually have a choice of which of these that you would like to use. I think we'll install with the white one, but you could also uh, choose to use the, the stainless steel diverter. I'll just show you what it's like. It's very nice. So depending on the decor um, of your kitchen, you might prefer to use the stainless steel. And a pH testing strip kit. Uh, here's a box that has a couple items. It has a cartridge for cleaning and a cleaning tank. And so we'll demonstrate the use of those on a future video. Uh, this is electrolysis solution, electrolysis enhancer. It uh, is used to supplement the electrolysis at the 2.5 pH water so that the water kills germs on contact for a broad spectrum of uh, organisms and viruses. And then we also have cleaning solution and it looks like there's five or six uh, little bags of cleaning solution here so this should last a good long time um, because cleaning usually is done like about once a month or so. Uh, here's a little hose which I don't think we'll need to use this today um, because it's for an optional drain uh, 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 drain hose, which we're going to show the one that comes standard or default with the K8. I'll just set this on the floor. And this is the K8, Enagic Kangen 8 water ionizer. So here's the hose at the top, and some of these hoses have or come with a uh, little water stop in them to keep the water from draining. So we certainly want to remove those. You just pull them out from the ends. On the back side you can see this is the white hose that will attach at the sink faucet, but there's also the short hose which drains into the sink. So those are the two hoses that come out the bottom of the machine. Okay, so we'll be attaching the diverter to the white hose, and to do that we simply unscrew the diverter uh, clamp and put the hose through that. It should just slide up onto the hose. You shouldn't need to use any special tools for the installation. This part right here is probably the hardest part of the whole job, is putting this little screw nut on the water hose. And you can see on the hose it has a little green tape with arrow pointing the direction that the water flows. So it always flows this way into the machine. Okay, so now that we have uh, the screw nut on the hose, it just plugs onto the diverter and then the nut is pushed up to where the threads are and you only tighten it by hand 
never use a tool for this uh, because that would make it too tight. That feels pretty snug just like that. So now what we need to do is determine the right size uh, adapter for our sink. You unscrew this top nut, this big white nut. There's a little uh, rubber gasket that sits there. I'll move this out of the way so it's easier to see. And so what we're going to do is use one of these adapters that fits our faucet. We'll find out in a moment which one it is. I suspect it's one of these. And then it will sit kind of like that and screw tight. So let's, uh, let's just see what we have for our faucet. I think it will be one of these that they're the most likely ones. What you do is you unscrew the aerator from your faucet. And you can see that on ours it's female thread. So that's why I selected um, the, t the two of these that are female. And then I just find the one that has the right thread for our faucet. So I'll try this one. It, it feels like it's a good fit. Let me just try the white one because if it's the same then I'll go with the white so it matches the color of the diverter. Well, that, it feels like the thread's a little different. I don't want to strip the thread, so I'll go with the gray because that one fits perfectly. Okay, so the next step is now that we know which size, um, we'll move the, uh, the machine close to the sink. white nut. And first we'll slide the big nut up onto the faucet. And then we'll screw on the end nut that holds it all in place. And that, that you can screw on with your thumb and finger. Again, no tools are necessary. Um, you can use a quarter. Um, it has little slots at the bottom so you can tighten it with the quarter. Uh, I think that finger tight on our sink works pretty good. Um, and then the, uh, the diverter screws into the nut, like so. And this you want to have on nice and snug. But again, no tools, you just want it hand tight has a really good gasket so it shouldn't leak. Okay, so now it's all connected to the sink and you see to operate it you have three options. In this position it's on ionize for ionizer or shower or tap. It has a very nice uh, feel and uh, we'll give it a try in a moment but first of all I want to show you how the hoses work. The, uh, the little hose underneath an angle to the side and so we're going to put the machine uh, next to the sink and point that hose so that it drains into the sink like that. The other hose is the one on top which is the one that we fill our glasses with the drinking water from. That sits up on top like so. One last thing is to attach the power. So we have the power cord And the K8, by the way, uh, works with eight different types of power. So it can work in any country in the world without using a transformer to convert the voltage. That makes it safe for the machine so it doesn't burn out with the use of transformers. Makes it convenient so you don't have to carry all kinds of transformers with. The cord plugs directly into the machine. So we'll plug the machine in. And uh, so now the, uh, the uh, SD5 or the uh, Level Up K8 is plugged in. It's turned on for the very first time. And so now what we'll do is we'll run some water through. Cold water. So we'll turn the diverter to ion. 
So now it's using the ionizer. And we'll let it run just a minute since it's the very first water that came through the machine. And the K8 makes water at the rate of 50% faster than the SD501. So now we'll make some Kangen water and give it a try. Oh, let's see, I don't, don't even know what uh, setting we're using. But it looks like it's a pretty good one because as you can see, I'll hold this up to the light. And if you get really close, you can see all the little tiny bubbles in the water. So you know that the ionization is very powerful. Now we'll just uh, press the 9.5 and be sure that it's uh, making the 9.5 Kangen water, which it is. And we'll have our first glass of Kangen water. Wow, isn't that lovely? Look at all those tiny little oxygenated uh, bubbles floating around in the water. Delicious. Cheers.